It's crazy how most of us wakes up every day not wanting to be refined. I mean, it completely boggles my mind to think that we avoid having our impurities removed because we are simply afraid of the process. And I get it. The process is usually long, grueling, and painful. And when we avoid being refined, we do what most of us do. We try to hide it. We try to hide our dysfunctions, our imperfections. We put on a mask every day hoping that no one would find out about them. The thing is you're only fooling your friends, your family, and me. You're probably also fooling me. But there is one who sees through all of it. Our God, the Refiner. Let me tell you why we are so afraid of going into his refinery. Because I know none of us actually wakes up every morning saying, I hope nothing changes in my life today. We do want change. We do want to be better. But most of us would rather accept who we are than go through pain and loss. And it's somehow easier to just make excuses for ourselves every time our bad habit comes out. You see, a lot of people want change in their lives but are not willing to give up a few things. Just like how a lot of us wants to be successful and we don't really act on it. You want to know why God's process of purifying is so painful? It's because God puts you through fire, not to burn you, but to burn off all that nasty impurities you've accumulated throughout the years. And it probably wouldn't hurt so much having our impurities removed if we hadn't glued ourselves to our deficiencies. You're probably wondering, what's the big deal? I thought God loves me just the way I am. And He does. In fact, He loves you so much that He wants you to be better. He knows that you are capable of becoming a better version of you. So, if He loves me, why make me go through this situation, this divorce, this bankruptcy, this failure? Why? Let me answer that question with a story. It's a story in the Bible called The Man Born Blind. So Jesus and his disciples are walking and came across a man born blind. Then his disciples started to ask Jesus, how come this man is born blind? Is it because his parents are sinners? Or is he a sinner? Basically, they are asking Jesus what this man did to deserve to be born blind. Just like many of us right now are asking God, why or what did I do to deserve to be in this situation? Then Jesus answered, He did not sin, and neither did his parents. He is blind so that the power of God can be seen through him. So whatever you're going through right now, you're going through it so that the power and grace of God can be seen through you. The situation isn't there to break you, but to make you. So let him purify you. Let God's power be shown through you. Let him change you in ways no one else could. So whatever it is that God is making you do or go through, my only advice is to do so very quickly. Because the story continues with Jesus saying, we must quickly carry out the task by the one who sent us. So whatever it is that God is making us go through, we should act on it quickly. Because the night is coming and then no one can work. So what does Jesus mean when he says the night? Here's the beautiful thing about the Bible. It's all about the context. I missed it too the first time I read the story. I thought the night is coming, so everything's going to be closed and no one's going to be working now. But I think what he actually meant is that the darkness is coming. Jesus is warning us that before the darkness comes or before the enemy comes, take action in God's calling. Because when it comes and you haven't taken action, the enemy will plant fear in your heart and doubts in your mind. And Jesus knows that those are the things that freezes people up. You see, when you don't act quickly on God's calling, you leave more room for yourself to not do it at all. But wait, there's good news. Because Jesus says, But while I'm here, I am the light of the world. So as long as you keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, He is the light of the world. He trumps all darkness and He chokes out all fears. So don't be crippled by fear about what God is making you go through. He is trying to get something out of you that you wouldn't otherwise see if you choose not to go through what He's calling you to. Do not be afraid because He is for you. Accept the change. Embrace the situations you're in. Because in the end, you will emerge victorious. So yun nga mga bigan, thank you so much for watching that video. Sana na inspire kayo and motivate kayo to keep pushing, to keep grinding, to find the patience for yourself and God to whatever He's making you go through. 
hopefully this time mga kaibigan you are willing to go into this refinery and yun talaga ang purpose ng video na to and the second purpose mga kaibigan is I wanna know from you guys if you guys like those types of videos this is the first time that I'm trying it out as ito alam mga kaibigan I enjoyed it I had fun because this is a new way of telling a story so let me know mga kaibigan down in the comment section down below if you guys wanna see more of those videos and before we get into them mga kaibigan I just wanna say thank you to God and everyone who's been showing a lot of love and support to this channel because we are really really close to hitting 150 subscribers so let's keep it up my baby and if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button Click that notification bell so you be a part of this community, mga kaibigan. Just a quick disclaimer, mga kaibigan. I am really, really bad at pronouncing names. So if I say your name wrong, I apologize in advance. So without further ado, mga kaibigan, here are the shoutouts. We got Ludes Gumayo III, Sydney Isin, Boy Cabato, Rohan Ranjan, Jason J, Alexandria Erica Martinez, Davy Arujo. Jose Marino. I also want to give, give a quick shout out to my cousin Banjobi de los Santos. Bandudu, shout out to you. Um, if you guys are in the Taliptip area, mga kaibigan, don't forget to stop by in his restaurant. Uh, it's called Black Burger. I'll probably link it down in the description so you can, guys can check it out. I also want to give a quick shout out to my dad because, you know, after a year of me being in YouTube, he just recently subscribed yesterday and he told me, so I'm giving a shout out to my dad as well. So yun yung mga shout outs natin today mga kaibigan. Alam kong hindi kompleto yung lista na yun kasi I don't see everyone's names sa mga bago nag subscribe and we grew a lot from the last video. And I think because your subscription to me is private so I don't see your name if you subscribe to my channel so that's why I don't see you on the list. But a quick solution to that mga kaibigan is if you subscribe and you wanna get a shout out from me Subscribe and then comment down below with anything, even a dot or a smiley face or whatever. I'll give you guys a shout out in the next video. So yeah, mga kaibigan, I know this video is kind of short, but I just kind of wanted to try something new for this channel. Pero don't worry, mga kaibigan, because there's a video in the works right now. And it's going to be a part two to a day in the life as a mechanic here in Canada. Because you guys really love that video. It's almost a thousand views already. And... Thank you guys so much for showing a lot of love for that video. So that video is going to be mainly me answering you guys' questions and, you know, me working. But it's going to be mainly answering you guys' questions from the first video about how I got to this level and to this stage and to that stage. And for the people I didn't have the answer to, I might do my own research, mga kaibigan, so hang tight. And I'll explain to you guys maybe the process of what I've found or the research that i found and I'm going to enlighten you guys on how to do it. So stay tuned to that video, mga kaibigan. Hopefully, it'll be out by the end of the week. Anyways, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like down below. Share this video to everyone that you know. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a blessed day. And you remember to keep praying. And as always, see you guys in the next one. Peace.